How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tools. This week I'm looking at a really powerful plugin called Beat Edit. Now this is going to allow you to drive your animations using music. You essentially use the beats of your song to control different animations. So you can use this to control 2D layers, 3D layers, and even slider controls. Now this is kind of a more pricey plugin. It comes in at $150, but the power that it has is really, really worth it. And in this particular tutorial, once again, I'm only going to be really scratching the surface of what this tool can do. So I really urge you to follow the link in the video description and check out some of the tutorials that the creator has put together because it really shows you everything that you can do with this plugin, including things with character rigging, time remapping. Also, I'm going to be giving away a copy. So to enter for a chance to win within the next two weeks, just follow the link in the description. So for this particular project, I have a map with a couple of different radar blips, three different map markers with these little animations going on. If I zoom in here, we can look at the particular elements. I have these three map markers, which are just simple ellipses. And then I have the radar pings, which I'm going to look at the keyframes and then just isolate it. You can see it's a simple stroke of an ellipse that's scaling up and fading out. And if I go down here, everything's put on top of this map of France. So now what I want to do with this particular animation is I want to have this song down here. I want the beats of this song to kind of drive the animations of these radar blips. So every time there's a specific beat, I want a new radar blip to pop out of these map markers. And let's say we're working on like a data visualization project where each of these radar blips is kind of representative of some specific uh, data set. And one is obviously going to be a larger amount than the other. And those are going to be represented through the radar blip. So I want some of these to have more blips than the other, but I still want them all to match up to the beats of the music. And now we can do this using Beat Edit. And let's take a look how. First, I'm going to open up Beat Edit by going to Window, Extensions, Beat Edit. Now, the first thing I want to do is load a piece of music in the Beat Edit panel here. So I need to first select a layer down here in the comp. I have this track from Premium Beat. And I'm going to go back up and click on Load Music. And as it's loading, it's going to do the beat detection process. And um, once that's loaded, it's going to show you those beats via these vertical blue lines. Now, if we look at this panel by panel, because there's a lot going on here, and that's really why I said before this is so powerful. There's just so many different properties that you can modify. It's, um, it's pretty amazing. So down here you have the playback controls and you have two volume sliders. Now this first volume slider controls just the volume of the music. This controls the metronome that is playing back just the beats. So let's take a quick listen. Now I can mute either of these or just turn them down. Now down here in this beat wiggle panel is where you can take that beat information and apply it to different types of layers via these animation presets. Now if you look at layer type, we have slider, 2D, and 3D layer. And if you look under presets, there's just a whole bunch of different very cool options. And if you go down here to this section that says use the force loop, you can really do some customizations um, and really tweak it to get it you know, exactly how you want it. So now as I uh, change this, let's watch. It's going to give us previews of all these different presets. Very, very cool. Now if we go to beat selection, this is where we can really specify if we want to change the number of beats. Like we can have one beat every um, eight beats, so I can just go and select a different number. But the key thing to take away from this and to be aware of is that this is going to apply this wherever your current time indicator is. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring my playhead back to the beginning. And I can switch this to every eight beats and we can select evenly or randomly. I want it to be even, and then I'm gonna hit select, and now you can see that's changed the number of beats. Now I can subdivide beats, and you can see that I can even add extra markers and customize how those markers are displayed. There's, there's some really cool options here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. If I go over here to beat info, this is gonna give us, uh, you know, show us some information like beats per minute, total number of beats, and this is really helpful if you're working on a project and you want to get super specific and mathematical, which I do on some projects, you know. 
Now up here is one of the more important areas. This is your toolbar where if I deselect the layers, I could just add markers based on that bead information. Now you're gonna see I have my comp markers and if I zoom out, it has applied markers for every single beat. Now I could do that to a layer as well. If I selected this layer and I simply hit the marker button, now it's applied to the layer. So that's super powerful and I can go ahead and delete those if I want, deselect and delete them from the comp as well. I can move markers to a specific, um, you know, wherever my current time indicator is. I have copy and paste tools. I can repeat keyframes and then I can stagger both layers and keyframes. So now how are we gonna use this on this particular animation? So as I said before, we want these map markers to kind of ping their little radar blips at different amounts. One you know, is gonna be um, pinging really fast, the other is gonna be a bit slower. So let's say this top one here is gonna be pinging the slowest, and the slowest amount is gonna be every eight beats, which we already have selected here. So now what we want to do is we want to grab our radar ping for this particular one, which is directly beneath the layer here. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this a few times. And I think that's going to be enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and select all of those radar pings. I'm going to reposition this so we can see what we got going on here. And now I can simply go up here and select stagger layers. And as I click that, it's going to bring up the dialog box and if I had the option to use comp markers, I could, but I don't have the comp markers placed. So I'm gonna leave it on selected beats, click OK. And now it's gonna basically stagger these and you're gonna see that top one. And now that is basically going with those beats. So let's, let's do a little render preview here. Okay, I've got all of these radar pings done. I'm gonna go ahead and hide those layers. And let's go down to this one. And this one's gonna be a little bit faster. So I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna go back up and we're gonna bring our playhead to the beginning. And we're gonna change this to every four beats and select that. And let's have a quick listen. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna just need to duplicate this a bunch of times, probably about twice as much because we're gonna have twice as many layers. I'm gonna grab all of these. And with the playhead at the beginning, I'm gonna stagger these layers. Click OK. Okay, now let's take a look. All right, very cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hide all of these just to keep things neat. And for my last one, I'm gonna make this one go super fast. So we're gonna go back, bring our playhead to the beginning, switch this to every two beats, select, and now you can see we've got a lot of beats going on here. So I'm gonna go down here to this radar ping and duplicate it just a bunch of times. Um, I don't even know how many times we should do this. Let's do one more. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna grab all of these. That was probably way overkill. With my playhead at the beginning, I'm gonna stagger these layers. Now let's take a look at the final product. All right, so that's the Beat Edit plugin for Adobe After Effects. Once again, I urge you to follow the link in the video description and check out some of the tutorials that were put together by the creator. There's just some amazing things you can accomplish with this tool. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and stay tuned for next week where I'm gonna be taking a look at another cool After Effects tool. See you next week.